Next up is Venom, the movie. I went to the movie theater to watch this with my wife. It's our, probably like our favorite thing to do, like date-wise, is go to the movies. We like that shit. And we went to go see Venom. And I like Tom Hardy. I like Tom Hardy movies. He's an amazing actor. I was excited to see a Venom movie. Um, Because Venom is like one of the cool, like villains has always been like kind of one of the cool villains to me. I don't know if it's like the whole black thing, you know, being like an all black or whatever. But I don't know. I the little that I did follow of like comics or like cartoons and stuff like that. Venom was always like uh, he's like a known. He's like the Joker for Batman. You know what I mean? He was like that for Spider Man. Um, it was interesting to see him in his own little like spinoff movie and then having Tom Hardy play him, you know, bigs it up that much more. I thought it was a good movie, but I didn't love it. Like I didn't come out of it like, holy shit, this is so dope. Um I really liked that the bad guy in it was um I forget his real name, but the actor that played Nas in The Night of, which if you guys haven't seen, you know, go back to listen to like my ranting and raving about that that uh mini series on HBO but it was amazing an amazing mini series a great show called The Night of and the main character's name is Nas and he plays the bad guy in Venom so it was entertaining it was worth watching i thought it was good um i just didn't love it you know i didn't like want to immediately watch it again or anything like that it was a good movie though it was, uh a takeaway, a good takeaway from it, from watching it, not just the movie, but from the previews of upcoming movies, were to Creed 2, which I'm looking forward to watching. I enjoyed uh, Creed 1. I like Michael B. Jordan. Um, I think he has a touch too much hype behind him in terms of like acting wise, his acting chops or whatever. But, you know, I see the, the appeal of him and um he's a good actor and i like him as well so just not just not to like the nth degree type of thing but looking forward to creed 2 you know it's a rocky movie to rocky movies always like feel good you know they rocky movies check off all the boxes that they're supposed to check off in perfect like story structure form every convention for its genre is checked off it's like you know what you're getting going in you are entertained and it's a it's a satisfying experience the other one the other movie that looks really good based on the previews is a movie for aquaman which is he's pretty much he's a dc character it looks like a really good dc movie another one you know like as good as you know like uh, dc did a really good job with like uh, wonder woman for example uh, this looks like it could be like a really good f- not f- franchise might not be the right word but you know kind of like how Avengers like revamp like all the Marvel movies type of thing um, I think Aquaman if done right can do the same thing for DC like it looked really really good and Aquaman is like pretty much Superman but like in the water type of thing and they get into like his backstory and like stuff like that and it, lo- it looks like it could be really good so I'm looking forward to that